Hey everyone, my name is Chris from Create Daily in Denver Wedding Films, and today I'm here to talk to you about shooting cocktail hours as a solo wedding videographer. I love shooting cocktail hours because just like every wedding, every cocktail hour is a little bit different. So for this particular venue, this was actually maybe like 20 minutes from where I live. So I actually drove to the venue just to do a little scouting. I don't do that for every wedding that I shoot, but when they're nearby, why not? It gives me the advantage of scouting out what things are gonna look like in terms of lighting, space, where I can leave my gear. So lots of things like that. All right, so let's check it out. No pressure. <laughs> There's no rule book on how to shoot these. When I connect with a couple and we go back and forth and the specifics that they're looking for, um, we'll go over cocktail hour and if there's anything special or sentimental that, that really stands out to them or maybe something that they've invested a little bit more money into that they're like, hey, we really want that captured. Um, and for this, I didn't have any specific direction. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna try to grab everything. I'm gonna grab food. I'm gonna grab people talking. I'm gonna grab uh, some drinks being served, just a little bit of, of everything. And you know, something that I really want to emphasize here is you want to get a variety of wide, medium, and tight shots. I'm on my 24 to 105 f4 lens. I absolutely love this lens. It is my workhorse. It is the first lens I bought, and I still use it today. And that allows me to get the wide, medium, and tight shots that I need all in one lens. This is more of like a personal thing, but I've never really been a fan of getting shots of people eating or like at least using them in my edits. It just, people eating isn't something that like, it just doesn't seem visually appealing in my opinion. If you're unsure where to go, go find the photographer. There's a good chance he or she will, will be getting some good shots too. So one thing I like to do in my wedding videos is when it comes to like people posing for pictures, they're still right. So on um, getting that shot, but like at an angle just is really just like the same thing as a picture. So when the photographer gets in closer or if they're further away, sometimes I try to actually get the photographer in the shot. I think that's important because being documented is a big part of your wedding day. And that just makes it more authentic and, and raw in my opinion. If you're unsure who to capture during the cocktail hour, your best guess is first the family or whoever's in the first row of uh, who's at the wedding or the bridal party or the wedding party itself. Also, not everyone likes to be filmed. Um, so if you kind of sense it, probably just go on to the next group of people. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> yeah, hey, that's the, yeah. Yeah, just ignore me. I'm just getting behind the scenes shots. So in this case, since the couple did their first look earlier in the day, we didn't have to spend all of cocktail hour getting shots of them um, with their bridal, with the wedding party and, and just with each other. What that allows me to do as a wedding videographer, other than getting the cocktail hour, I could actually get more reception details. Now I shoot solo, so I can't be at two places at once. So I have to set up my lights, my audio equipment with the DJ, and then I'd like to get just some special like reception details and setups, especially before people come in and sit down. Some couples spend a lot of money on that stuff and, and it can uh, really add up. So if you can get any of those extra shots and it's, it's worth it. And just like that, people start getting coming in. So if you're if you want to get your shots, you got to get them quick. I have Hannah and Nick's wedding film linked below and at the time of making this video I have like maybe 40 or 50 subscribers so make sure to leave a comment, like or sub, um, anything really for that matter, I'd really appreciate it.